Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Now, I'm very rarely in the front of the curve technologically, um, buying all my stuff from car boot sales, but I did buy some Raspberry Pis recently for a project. I do use them occasionally, sort of with emulators and embedded systems. And uh, I've got a couple of these, and apparently these are the latest thing at the moment, Raspberry Pi 3s. And these are the Pi uh, 3 Model Bs with one gigabyte of RAM. And uh, I thought I'd just do a little quick unboxing, because I've got a bunch of these, and I've got, ooh, some of the big, uh, juicy, I think these are two and a half amp, three amp power supplies that go with them. Just to show you what you get, you get a, well, I guess it's a quick start guide and some basic instructions. I mean, really, you shouldn't be needing those uh, because, I'll just get it out of the box, little baggy there. Um, and there's the unit. and. You know, my uh, previous experience was, I think, from the first generation Model B. So this has uh, come on a long way since then. You can see the main CPU there. And I'm guessing this is probably the USB controller, possibly an Ethernet one. Let me have a look. Oh. Yeah. I'm thinking USB controller. And uh, on the back, got another big old chip. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and then a shiny bit of silicone here. And there's a little antenna. So this is probably to do with the uh, Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi chipset. So there's a lot going on here. So yeah, four USB 2 ports, one gig of RAM. And I think it might be a dual core, maybe even a quad core CPU on it. Bluetooth Wi-Fi, HDMI out, power in, the usual expansion port for GPIO. And I'm guessing these are the sort of ribbon cables I've seen the various camera modules connect to. Ethernet. This should be a, a really nice uh, machine to uh, put into my uh, Pi Play devices. I never really use the sound out, but you know, we'll see. I might have a play with that. So first impressions, it looks really well built. I mean, I use, I still kind of hate that they put ports on the side. It's a really weird form factor. If it were me and I was going to redesign this, I would take all of these ports and shove them round so at least on the back you could have the Ethernet, the USB and the HDMI uh, and the power. So then you could fit it in a long case and it would work It would work a lot better. I mean it's really random. You don't see many consumer electronics devices having plugs uh, you know perpendicular to each other. That's what just makes these so annoying and it was I think it was even more annoying on the original ones because the um, Ethernet port and things used to stick out. Also, I do like they've got a uh, micro SD. And if you're buying these, you can buy them with the noobs image. And that's a sort of a, 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 a get you started image. But what I prefer to do is just buy the uh, SD card separately and just go on the internet and just download whatever image you want. Plop that straight on there. And then it sits nicely in the back here. Still sticks out a bit though. I mean, I'm not really sure if that really helps. I mean, unless your case was incredibly thin, it's sticking out those few mil really isn't going to help you. And it's sticking out when you're not in a case is actually kind of annoying because micro SD cards actually have a little ledge on them anyway that you can use your nail to rip them out. So I'm going to have a play with this and hopefully uh, I'll be able to show you some projects with it in and let you know how I get on with it. But all in all, if you're used to the Raspberry Pi and you know its capabilities, you know this is massively uh, faster and got, uh, I think the memory bandwidth is at least double, if not quadruple, the original uh, Pi 2. So you're going to get a boost. And as ever, thank you for watching. Happy hacking, by the way. Bye bye.